Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here with a bit of a tradition. Yes, we're going to be jumping in to our F122 controller versus wheel video. Now of course if you missed out on the My Team video that we did earlier on today, we'd definitely recommend going back and checking it out. Of course the start of our all new career mode and of course there will be another video going live in just a couple of hours as well at the time of this uploading so yeah definitely get yourself subscribed to the channel of course trying to hit 60k at the moment and then the big goal of 100k by the end of the year so of course yeah if you can help me get one step closer it would be massively massively appreciated but yeah like i said though as is tradition on this channel we've done it through i think four of the last five F1 games. We're going to be jumping in to my pad versus wheel or controller versus wheel, whichever one you want to call it. Now, F122, of course, very different cars to how we've had over recent years. So it has very much changed the dynamic between controller and wheel. Currently in the background, you can see my wheel lap. I'll sort of talk about this, then we'll talk about controller, and then I'll go into a side by side comparison for you guys as well. And then, of course, we'll sort of round out with my final thoughts. So there will be timestamps down below as well there but yeah jumping on though first of all then like i said huge car changes for 2022 now of course in previous games it always felt like controllers had a bit of an edge when it came to traction zones and then sort of wet weather conditions there sort of felt like you know you could sort of feel the grip a little bit better you know through the vibration in your controller now it must be added as well this is being recorded on xbox so i'm using a series x controller I am planning on doing a sort of comparison between Xbox and PlayStation, of course, because the PlayStation 5's got haptic feedback and everything like that. Um, but yeah, F122, of course, the traction now really, really difficult at low speed. You know, of course, with the big talk about ground effect this year, really does mean that the cars are nowhere near as fast or as controllable through a lot of the lower speed stuff like they have been in recent years. So theoretically, you'd feel like that would give the controller an even bigger advantage there as we just go for a couple of donuts. But I haven't found that exactly to be the case. Now, of course, I am mainly a wheel user on this channel. I'm sure not many of you would want to sit and, you know, watch my face cam of our normal sort of my team career mode videos as I'm sat there with a controller. And I just find it a lot more fun uh, to race with a wheel as well, of course. I've raced, you know, sort of semi professionally back in the past on Forza Motorsport, though that was, of course, all on a controller. So I certainly know, yeah, you know, I drive a car with a controller, but yeah, it certainly isn't my go to on the F1 games. Now, the wheel, of course, I've been using this for the last few days, and I've been trying to get ahead on a load of videos. Must admit, have been struggling a bit with F122. Like I said, you know, just the tweaks that I had in a model, the low speed lack of grip has been very, very interesting to try and get used to. It's a fun and unique challenge on F122 that we haven't had in quite a few years. It's probably F1 2016, to be honest, because, of course, that game's traction system was really, really difficult. You know, we had the really high-powerful turbo hybrids, um, but then, of course, the really small rear tyres still, so couldn't really put the power down in a lot of instances. But, yeah, F1 22 then doesn't exactly feel like F1 2016. Don't get me wrong, you know, there's a lot more nuances in the handling model and everything like that but it is certainly still very very interesting of course the advantages you get with having a wheel though is just the precision you know you can turn in you can correct things a little bit easier everything like that you know i'm sure if you're a really good pad player uh, then you're going to be able to sort of make the corrections a little bit better than obviously i can as someone that doesn't use it very much anymore uh, but yeah it's just the precision on the wheel of course pedals as well you know if you're starting to lock up slightly it can be a whole lot easier to try and recover that or at least try and fight against it as well you know say for example you're turning a bit early to a corner you can sort of get out of the steering just a little bit and still hit the apexes everything like that now moving on though to my controller lap though did spend a little bit longer with this one. It's not the perfect lap. I definitely feel like I could have matched my uh, pad, uh, sorry, my wheel time using a controller. But there were definitely some very, very big differences. Now, of course, like I mentioned in the intro, always in the past it was the traction control system uh, that you seem to have a big, big advantage in the controller because, of course, you know, you just had that feel through the triggers that, of course, you don't really get through any pedals that are on the market. So that often gave you a little bit of an advantage. I feel like it's still there on F122, but not as profound, just because, of course, now we've got the ground effect cars. You don't really get that feel anyway sometimes on the exit of a corner. You know, I've, you know any of you that have watched some of the My Team Career Mode videos, you'll know sometimes you just get snap oversteer that happens immediately. And, of course, you don't get a feel of that through the wheel. 
You also don't really throw a controller. The big thing I have noticed on F122 though, for the controller players, there is no understeer whatsoever, or at least using default setups which I've done for both wheel and controller today. I mean, look through pull one, I'm able to take it a gear high there, run slightly wide that lap, but it wasn't even my best line through that corner there. You can just, there is no understeer with the controller there. I feel like you're still going to have a small advantage as well in the wet conditions, you know, just due to the nature of the controller still having that little bit extra sort of feel through the triggers. But yeah, I mean, like I said, the big difference I noticed, I was amazed when I jumped in immediately and had no understeer through most of the corners there. That is where the controller advantage really does lie on F1 at 22, and that's definitely where it's going to be strong, you know, through... You know, for example, a track like Monza, you might stand a really, really good chance at, of course, on the controller as well. There. I ran in through the final couple of corners, though. I think this lap was about a second away from my wheel pace there, which, to be honest, for me, is pretty good going, I think. So let's jump in then to our side-by-side -side comparison. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. This channel is proudly sponsored by Bybit, the official crypto partner of Red Bull's Formula One team. I've been using their platform for my personal crypto savings over the last few months, and when they got in touch to support the channel, I was super, super excited. Currently, they're offering you guys a special new promo for the first 100 of you to deposit $10 or more onto the platform. You'll get another $10 free. Also, five lucky winners will get their initial deposit doubled up to $1,000. That means if you deposited $1,000 onto the platform using my codes below, you could be within a chance to get another $1,000 completely free. We've seen the landscape around crypto drastically change over the last couple of years and I genuinely believe it holds an important place in our future. However, please be careful as always when trading as you are liable uh, to lose money. But if you're interested and you're 18 or older, click the link down below to get started and see why Red Bull and myself as well as thousands of others trust Bybit as their crypto. Well, there we go then, our side-by-side -side comparison of F122 pad versus wheel. And safe to say, I feel like I've learned a lot from doing this experiment. Like I said, you know, I like to do this every single year. So if you have enjoyed it, please do make sure you leave a like and get yourself subscribed. I've got plenty of other comparison videos that are going to be going live over the next few days. Of course, my team career mode, everything like that as well. We'll even be kicking off our all-new Hass Road to Glory tomorrow as well. So definitely make sure you get yourself subscribed for that one but of course if you've got any questions as well make sure you leave them down below of course both these laps done with default setup no assists whatsoever everything like that of course you know I'm, I'm not someone that uses assists on the f1 games as well but you know if you're in the market for trying to buy a wheel as well i'm gonna hopefully very very soon i'll be doing a few more wheel reviews as well there for a few wheels that i think some of you guys will be interested in 
from all price ranges as well. So yeah, definitely get yourself subscribed for that as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and we will return very, very soon with more F1 22 content. None of these videos would be possible without the help of our channel members, so a massive thank you to all of the names you see on your screens currently for helping support the channel. You can join them by clicking the join button down below, and yeah, thank you once again to everyone that continues all the insane support on my work.